Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your host, Daphne Aike. View up front 2023. Firstly, let's make some noise for Force Park Boys. Oh my god! When they head but they actually did an amazing performance called Let's View. And if you think that their song sounded familiar, your ears aren't deceiving you, alright? Now these talented, talented Johorians, they have graciously decided that they're gonna tweak their hit single Lotus to make it uh, personalized just for view us today, all right? See that little play of number of view, all right? And uh, yeah, we saw a big shout out again to them. An interesting fact, interesting fact that their single hit made such an impression on the Korean heavyweights rappers, right? So much so, yeah, so much so that they decided to make a remix out of it and they covered it by none other than Jay Park and his higher artists themselves. So wow, isn't that great guys? Yeah. It's really, really cool. It's always, always an uplifting feeling, you know, when brands, when creators, when think tanks are able to collaborate and put their ideas and um, views together so that they can add value to each other's platforms. And that's the reason why we are all here gathered this afternoon. Now, before I continue, I see some familiar faces. Uh, just now I popped outside for a while. I'm like, oh my God, I see so many of my friends and I wanted to um, highlight each and every one of you, but the list is really, really long. And um, I'm just to let you all know that when we sent out our invites, we were so, so delighted when we found out that most of you could come. So thank you. Thank you so much to our talents, our actors, our producers, our directors, our esteemed partners, Tadia Nampa, Dato Robin, Kalua, Hello, Hello. I know there's so many, I can't remember all the names names right now but yes so many of you here are friends from the media I know that there's some news that you guys have to cover and yet you're still here so never mind I'm wearing yellow just think that you're wearing you know that you're in the Istana also okay all right so thank you ah you got it <laughs> So you're feeling macam rasa macam stand-up comedian. All right, move on, move on. Okay, so welcome once again to View Upfront 2023. My name is Daphne Aiken and I'm absolutely ecstatic to be with all of you for this exclusive screening with Southeast Asia's number one streaming service. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, View has been consistently performing in a very competitive region and with 16 view markets across Asia, the Middle East as well as South Africa, view continues to be the leading player in this part of the world. So congratulations again to view. They're all around here, but I'm actually looking at Kinsey right now. <laughs> all right, now you saw the numbers earlier on on the screens with over 60 million active users in these markets as of August 2022. View also produces their own content under the brand View Originals. Now how did View hit these numbers? And what does it mean? And most importantly, what is in store for 2023? So I'm sure all of you are dying to find out a little bit more. I am. So to kick things off, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Wingsy Warner, country head of View Malaysia. Kingsy, the stage is yours. Thanks, Stephanie. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Um, first of all, uh, you know, just really wanted to say thank you for everybody coming tonight. I mean, what an amazing turnout. Um, we're really blown away by everyone coming. Thank you. Um, it's very exciting that uh, we have so many people here from the industry, our partners, etc. Uh, but I think, you know, what's important for us is that this is a big event that we haven't been able to do in Malaysia for a number of years because of the pandemic. So sit back, relax and enjoy yourselves. I'm Kingsley Warner. I'm the country manager for VIEW. Um, I've been with the company for 10 years since its inception. Um, I'm a, you know, it, it's a big part of what we do in Malaysia. Is, it's all about content. Um, and today is about VIEW Upfronts 2023. This is the first time we're doing an event like this, and uh, it's, a special, it's a special occasion, and a really a special occasion for the Ma Malaysia creative industries. There's a lot of talented people in this room, a lot of content collaborators, and you know, I think without them, you know, we wouldn't be where we are, so thank you very much. Um, I'd like to thank our, our esteemed partners, Finas, Iskander Malaysia Studios, 
our esteemed um, partners, media agency, brand, um, clients, um, industry collaborators, and of course, as I mentioned, most importantly, as our directors, our cast, and our talent from RV Originals. Thank you. Over the next hour, and it's going to be an exciting hour, our colleagues are going to show you what's coming up over the next year. Um, and of course, the big thing for us is to show you all about the new content. Um, but before that, I want to do a quick, in a quick introduction of who we are um, and talk about some trends in the market. So VIEW is a PCCW owned company out of Hong Kong. Um, we're owned and operated by that group. Um, we have a presence in 16 markets, as Daphne said. We operate in Southeast Asia, the Middle East and South Africa. Um, and as of um, this year, I'm going to call it 61 million monthly active users, so that's fantastic. The success of this has been built on the back of Best of Asian content and entertainment. And for VIEW, you know, the big thing we have is we have an extensive catalogue of Korean content, dramas, varieties, exclusive content. We have very strong content from around the region that we bring into each market. But the most important thing is we have strong local content and hence why all of you are here. The streaming space has become very crowded, of course, because of the pandemics and we've seen a lot happen in the last couple of years. Trends have accelerated in terms of technology adoption and of course we've all been there sitting at home watching content, you know, trying to avoid Zoom calls. But at the end of the day, we have seen this industry accelerate. For VIEW in particular, in this first half of this year, we've crossed some really important milestones. 100 million US dollars in the first half of this year. That's a 22% um, increase in terms of where we were this time last year. As I mentioned before, and as Daphne mentioned, number one in terms of monthly active users. Um, but also, an important stat for us is that we're top three in terms of paid subscribers across the region. That means that people are watching our content and they're paying for us. Thank you. Um, thanks for the look. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we never forget that the content is about what consumers want to see. It's about stories that resonate with local audiences. And tonight, you're going to see some amazing content. We're going to show you content that is really all about delivering Best of Asian. Our, mi our mission is about delivering content for consumers. And if you talk about Malaysia, in the last five years, we've commissioned 20 local Malaysian View Originals already. That's a big number. Thank you. We have a lot planned for 2023 and our production uh, folks, Stephen and Amelia, are going to talk to you about that. We also have a lot of content coming from our sister markets, particularly the Philippines, Thailand and Indonesia. And Juliana, our head of content, she's going to run you through that as well and that's exciting to see. Now on top of all this, um, having this desire to make local content, the big thing that we look for is not just in terms of receiving accolades which, you know, in terms of winning um, the odd award, and we've won many, and of course, Stephen and Amelia will point out some of those, but it's all about really understanding what, is, what the consumer wants and what they're looking for. So when we looked at content, we looked at how we could invest in other content from around the region, and one of the things we did is we've actually started investing in Korean content. Um, what you can see at the moment is one of our big titles. It's actually doing number one on view as we speak now. Here's Reborn Rich. Um, we also have, um, this year we had um, If You Wish Upon Me and today's webtoon to name a few. So, if we, talk, if we look at the stats of what we've seen in terms of the last year or so, and we look at some of the studies that industry leaders such as the Trade Desk are looking at, 40% of Malaysians have said to us that they intend to maintain their existing usage of OTT streaming services. So prior to COVID, of course, you know, consumers were watching a lot of content, but throughout COVID that trend has gone upwards a lot, right? So a lot of people are watching more. 29% actually intend to increase their usage. So again, that habit, that adoption that was there has now increased, and of course it's become much more of a habit. In some other studies, the Trade Desk and Kantar, and this is the one that I think resonates for all these people in the room today, is that one in three people are now watching content on streaming apps. That's an addressable market of 13 million people in Malaysia alone, and that number is going to grow. For myself, you know, I've been a part of this uh, landscape for about 15 years, um, and I've seen this growth at first hand, and I've, and I've been proud to be a part of it. 
You know, you have very strong content collaborators and media platforms such as Astro and Media Prima, very strong internet penetration, affordable data plans, increased um, smartphone usage, um, and all of this brings more competition to the market, more opportunity for content creators, but ultimately the end consumer, the Malaysian consumer, is the person that wins, and, and that's what we're here to support. But if we look at Malaysia, and Malaysia alone in terms of our statistics, we're number one in terms of monthly active users, and again, you know, after five to six years, that's tremendous since we launched, so thanks very much for your support there. And I think the next stat is the one that's probably most telling for us, and it's really a reflection of the premium, of the premium style of content that we deliver, is that we're top two in terms of paid subscribers in this month, in terms of streaming services. Thanks again. Um, what, what that shows us is that you know, our content has been watched by many and it's also been watched at a premium level. And really that's, you know, that's a good note for me to finish on because there's a lot of content to be seen today. Um, you know, I'd really like to thank you, as I said before, for all of you coming today. The support from you is what makes all of this possible. We have really big plans for the coming year. And um, in the meantime, here's some highlights from 2022. Thank you. Welcome our next presenter. Please welcome Juliana Lau, Head of Content Acquisition and Programming View Malaysia, to give us a little recap on what View Malaysia showed in 2022 and what's in store for 2023. Juliana, the stage is yours. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Are you enjoying yourselves? Yeah. That's very good. My name is Juliana. I'm the head of content and programming, and I'm responsible for the licensing and presentation of content on Vue. At Vue, we're always on the lookout for the next big thing. I work with a passionate team of Asian content enthusiasts who are in tune with what's hot in Asia and who work tirelessly to present that content in a way that our viewers love. OTT services live and die by our content offerings. This is the reason, after all, that viewers come to our platform. View's value proposition is to present the best in Asian entertainment. So how do we translate that mission into an actual strategy? Well, we start off with Korean content, bringing you exciting new titles such as Reborn Rich, which we had just launched last week. Hugely popular dramas such as True Beauty and Why Her? and fan favorites like Running Man. We lead the way with a wide and exciting Korean content offering. We also offer premium content from across the region. This includes Chinese, Japanese, Thai, Indonesian content, as well as niche titles in some other languages. Fans of Asian drama series would be familiar with F4 from Thailand, Love Like the Galaxy and Immortal Samsara, both are costumed romantic dramas from China. Black Clover, which is an anime series that comes to us from Japan. And Malay dramas uh, and comedy series such as Suri Hati, Chinta Amnesia, Budat the Bing, and Glorica Insta Famous. And finally, there's the View Originals. Not just from Malaysia, but from around the region. From Indonesia, we have hit titles such as Pretty Little Liars and Asalam Waalaikum Chalam Imam both back for a second season this year alone. Thank you. From Thailand, we have Remember 15 and My Coach. Thank you again. And from the Philippines, we have Flower of Evil, which is a Korean drama format adapted and localized for the Filipino market. As for the view original from Malaysia, which we are very, very proud of, by the way, my colleagues who head up the View Originals te production team will talk about that in a little bit. Korean dramas dominate our list of best performing shows. That is, after all, what we are best known for. But in 2022, the most popular titles included Thai titles such as F4, She Was Pretty, which is a View Original from Malaysia, Sri Bonina, another View Original from Malaysia, Chinese titles such as Love Like the Galaxy and Immortal Samsara, and that shows the evolving appetite of our viewers for premium Asian content outside of Korea. We've just launched Reborn Rich, uh, starring Song Joon Ki. Um, that, that launched last week. And we will cap off 2022 with another much anticipated title called 
Red Balloon. And that will launch on the 17th of December. That's a K-drama that fans can only stream only on view. Looking ahead, we have seven Korean View originals planned for 2023. These include Delivery Man, Queen of Masks, and Flower Scholar, which are all coming to view in the first half of 2023. Plus, we'll be adding another 300 hours of new Korean content to our library throughout the year. So there's lots to look forward to. We also have an exciting slate of Malay language view originals, including our flagship Nene Bongotiga. Yeah. That's coming to us in February of 2023. And next K-drama adaptation will come to us as well later in 2023, but more about that in a little, little bit. Our view original teams in Thailand, Indonesia, and Philippines will also be very, very busy next year producing view originals, which will be all be made available to watch on view in Malaysia, only on view. Starting off in February from Thailand, we can expect Return Man. It's a rom-com perfect crime series, a la Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and it stars superstar Alec Tiradech. In May, we have Get Rich, which is a romance drama from the award-winning director of the horror flick Siam Square. And then there is Shadow coming in July and The Outing in November. A romance, that's a romance musical casting a combination of Thai superstars including Nong Kul. Now here's a bit of trivia. What's the difference between these three TV series, these hit series? Dr. Foster, A World of Married Couple, and The Broken Marriage Vow. And the answer? Anyone? They're all the same. <laughs> Well, almost. Dr. Foster was a hit series for the BBC in the UK in 2015, and it went on to produce a second season. Dr. Foster was then adapted in Korea to become a world of married couple, which went on to be the biggest K-drama hit for View in 2020. The Broken Marriage Vow was Dr. Foster then remade again in the Philippines by View in 2022. Now, why am I telling you all of this? Because in Q3 of next year, we can expect a third Asian adaptation of this show, and it will be called The Betrayal, which will come to us from Thailand, and will be available exclusively on view. And speaking of the Philippines, we can expect two big view original projects to come up uh, from starting from May onwards. Uh, one is a romantic drama, and the other is um, an exciting adaptation of uh, a hit Korean series, but we don't have more details on that. Stay tuned, we will be ready to announce um, something very, very soon. And lastly, that's from Indonesia. We can expect a very robust slate of view originals rolling out as early as January with a collection of Wattpad story adaptations. Married Ex-Boyfriend, or Mantan Tapi Manika, is a rom-com that stars Aurelie Moremont. What is the Progress? That's a workplace dramedy that stars Michelle Zwedith. And it also airs on Net TV, free to air, t uh, free to air channel Net TV in Indonesia. And in February, we have Marriage with Benefits, which is another rom-com, and stars Jessica Mila and Abimana. So there you have it. That's 2023 for us. And it's going to be a big, big year for you. We are doubling down on that consistent promise that we have made to our loyal audience through the years, and that is to bring them the best in Asian entertainment. What we have shown you today is merely a glimpse of what's in store. Here at VIEW, we all love our content. We are very excited with 2023's lineup, and now I hope you are too. Before I go, I'd like to bring you to Daphne, who's waiting outside uh, with our Reborn Rich Coffee truck where you can grab your caffeine fix. Uh, Daphne has more information on activation, so over to you, Daphne. 
<laughs> Whoa, that was really good. Yes, I had a quickie massage right here at the Thailand Pavilion. Yes, I am live here at the View Town. You can see so many activities. I think some of you already partake in some of the booth activities that we have. Lots and lots of unique food. I hope you guys continue to stay on after the screening because there's going to be lots and lots of other offerings at the Malaysian, Indonesian, Korean, as well as the Thai Kopuka. I forgot to say thank you to them. <laughs> thank you very good. <laughs> Feel better already. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I am absolutely obsessed with Song Joo Ki's fantasy drama Reborn Rich. So much so that I want to feel the life of the rich. So I'm going to head over here to this very exclusive airstream that we have brought here just for you all, okay? And well, right now there's a bit of a queue, but all you have to do is flash your view app. So if you have the view app, just flash it, and then you get a free coffee. So I'm actually here for my cafe fix, because that's why I'm talking so fast, because I really, really need my coffee, my coffee. Oh, thank you. They make way for me so best. Can. All right, and if if you are a View Premium subscriber, more bonus and more bonus and treats for you because then you get an extra chocolate. So you need that. Alhamdulillah. All right. Okay. So check it out, guys. You can actually enjoy your coffee. Assalamualaikum. Boleh tak saya masuk? Ya boleh ya. Oh, bestnya kan. But Nanya, you know what you all can do? You can watch the Reborn Rich on your phone, enjoy your coffee, enjoy your chocolate, and feel the life of the rich inside this exclusive airstream. Atau bi gambar ke, betul tak? Yes, okay. And if if you are taking pictures, okay, remember to tag View Malaysia and hashtag View Upfront 2023. Okay, kena play sinto, all right? Now, not only that. You know, we don't just stop on airstream. No, no, no. Life of the rich is not just about the airstream. We also have. Kau nampak ni? Patut ni prop style. Tapi definitely I can't ambil. No, no, it's mine. Okay. We also have the Rolls Royce. The Rolls Royce. So I can just well sit down. Boleh tak saya duduk? Body got saya menakutkan. Kita tak boleh saya duduk dulu eh. Nak ambil gambar. So yes, Juliana, I am going to enjoy the life of the rich here next to this Rolls Royce. Take a lot of wifi selfies and uh, enjoy my chocolate and my cafe fix. And you guys can do the same thing. Again, remember to hashtag us at View Upfront 2023. In the meantime, Juliana, I'll be listening in from here. Back to you. Thank you so much, Daphne. I'm coming to join you up there soon. So now you can follow Song Joon Ki's in Reborn Rich on view, and you can get to follow our Reborn Rich coffee truck all over town for your cup of coffee made just the way you like it. And what about that view town, guys? Did you like it? I hope you did, because we love it. And with that, I'd like to thank you for your time. Uh, good afternoon. Good everyone. Uh, a lot of familiar faces here today. Uh, you know, a lot of our directors, our cast, our producers, writers are all here, uh, as well as everyone else. You know, so please, um, thank you very much for joining us here today. My name is Stephen. I'm the associate director of development. And my name is Emilia. I'm an associate director of physical production. So together, Stephen and I call it the View Originals uh, team in Malaysia. Woo! <laughs> The VO Originals, or VOs as we call them, are our own productions created and produced by VIEW. Uh, this is as opposed right, to content that we acquire from external parties. We work with the top creators in the country, writers, directors, producers, actors, to tell the best stories that we can. Development oversees story and scripts, including the curation of titles for our VIEW Original Slate, while production looks after the physical execution of the show, from pre-production all the way to post. We just showed you a compilation of the VOs that Malaysia has done since we started in 2017, up to our newest show, Hilang, which was launched last week. Hilang is a 10-episode investigative thriller about a police detective and a religious scholar who must team up to investigate the mysterious happenings in their hometown of Sri Dayak. The series stars K. Rahman, Siti Saleha, Akasha, and Jasmine Suraya. I see you, Jasmine. Today, we are pleased to bring you a special live performance of the show's theme song, titled Rasa Yang Hilang, composed by Ayub Azrael and sung by Heidi Moru. 
It's an incredibly haunting tune, isn't it? So, ladies and gentlemen, episodes 3 and 4 of Hilang uh, drop today on view. Please do check out the show. Now, here you see the posters of all the view originals uh, that have been done to date by View Malaysia. That's 20 titles across a variety of genres. These titles are a mix of wholly original IPs that we own, as well as adaptations of popular formats such as She Was Pretty, Black, Pretty Little Liars, and The Bridge. Our shows have won a multitude prestigious award covering the, the Asian Television Awards, the Asian Academy Creative Awards, and Content Asia Awards at both the national and regional levels. The VIEW original exists as the second leg of VIEW's content strategy alongside content acquisitions. At its core, our mission is simple. We want to tell good stories. Stories that entertain you, that surprise you. Stories that are fresh, relevant, unflinching in its drama. Stories that you won't find anywhere else. So many of these titles are original IPs, developed and produced in collaboration with best-in-class talents in Malaysia. We pride ourselves on the breadth and depth of our slate, covering a variety of genres, from black comedies such as the groundbreaking Keluarga Bahadon, to edgy investigative thrillers like Hilang and heartwarming romantic comedies like Ijab Kabul. Besides these original titles, we have also enjoyed tremendous success with our adaptations of popular overseas formats. We have produced four adaptations today based on the hit K-dramas, She Was Pretty and Black. The US format, Pretty Little Liars, which we co-produced with Indonesia, and the Nordic noir crime series, The Bridge, which was shot in Malaysia, Indonesia, and Singapore. So with these adaptations, you know, we look for titles that have a proven story and an existing fan base, and remake them to better resonate in the local market. Think of the shows you love, set in Malaysia, with Malaysian characters, told in a way that's locally relevant. The goal here with these adaptations is to create a story that resonates with Malaysians, a show that serves the existing fans, but also brings a new set of fans to it. I'd like to take the opportunity here to also thank Finas and Iskandar Malaysia Studios for their continued support in our productions. With our view originals, we aspire to keep raising the bar for what is possible in a premium production in Malaysia. Having the right financial and infrastructure support in our industry goes a long way towards making that possible. It is something our sister offices in the other view regions are very envious of. So, thank you Finas, thank you Iskandar Malaysia Studios for all you have done for the Malaysian film and TV industry. In 2022, we launched five new originals. These were Seri Bonina, She Was Pretty, Aisha, Ijab Kabod, and our latest one, Hila. Thank you. This is the largest number of VO titles that we have ever released in a single year, as we strive to bring viewers new and exciting original stories. We'd now like to share with you a quick compilation video of our 2022 VIEW original. 2022 has been a good year for us, and we intend to capitalize on the momentum we have built. Today, we are pleased to give everyone here a sneak preview of our upcoming 2023 slate. But do note that these titles are not presented in chronological order. The first title we would like to introduce is Dear Karma. Dear Karma is a K-drama style rom-com spanning two countries. The show will be shot in Saga, Japan, as well as in Penang, Malaysia. The story follows Karma, an idealistic dreamer trying to make it as a beauty influencer. She unexpectedly lands a job opportunity to go to Japan with Bianca, an actress who's looking to rehabilitate her bad girl image by dating the boring but amicable Bob, her boyfriend slash uh, videographer. The three of them travel to Saga, Japan, where they meet Sham, a failed lawyer turned pottery apprentice living there. 
cultures and personalities will clash as these four quirky characters each have their own agenda on this trip. Dear Karma will be produced by Red Cop Productions, who are known for hit films such as Manisnya Cinta di Cappadocia, Godan Ginchu, Istanbul Aku Datang, and Kami Hysteria. We hope you're as excited about this as we are. The next title on the list is Terlanjur Cinta. Terlanjur Cinta is a powerful family drama by acclaimed creator Erma Fatima. Erma is a veteran writer, producer and director known for her work on the critically acclaimed period drama Embun and the award-winning Perempuan Melayu Akhir. In 2012, her drama Aku Bukan Malaikat backed the coveted trio of Best Drama Best Screenplay and Best Director Awards at TV3's annual Anugrah Screen. Erma later repeated this feat with Akulah Balkis in 2014 and Pesan Dari Tuhan in 2017. Pelanjo Cinta tells the story of Hidayah, a young woman from an impoverished family. To save her drug addict brother from prison and lift her family from poverty, Hidaya agrees to accept the marriage proposal from the much older widower Pak Majin. In doing so, she must set aside her budding romance with her childhood friend Amir. Pak Majin is courteous, is charming, and despite their age difference, Hidaya finds herself falling for him. But just as she believes that she can be happy, Pak Majin returns from a business trip with a second wife. Hidayah must now fight to preserve this new life she has built. Meanwhile, Amir waits in the wings, wondering if he might finally have a chance to give Hidayah a happily ever after. Terlanjur Cinta will be Irma's debut on an OTT platform, and we are pleased that she has chosen you for this honour. And in 2023, we will continue with our strategy of doing format adaptations. I'm proud to announce that VIEW has secured the rights to adapt the Korean hit title W2 Worlds. The original K-drama starred Lee Jong-suk and Han Hyo-ju and was directed by Jung Dae-yoon, who also directed She Was Pretty, which is another K-drama we've successfully adapted. To give you an idea of what the story is about, we would like to play the trailer from the original show for you. We have cast our two leads for the show. Can you guess who they are? <laughs> they have each recorded a short message for everyone here, so let's see what they have to say. of the K-drama W Two Worlds Apart. I am super excited to bring Kang Cho character to life and I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy the show as much as I know I'm going to be enjoying making it. Hi everyone, I'm Diane Trisha. I'm not really sorry and it's an adaptation of Korean's iconic drama W Two Worlds. This will be my first time working and my first appearance on View Malaysia. So I'm so thrilled and honored and flattered to have been picked to play the role of Oyoju. Well, the Malaysian version of Oyoju. So I hope you guys will give us your support as we said about adapting this iconic key drama. Thank you guys. So guess who they for the show. So here, W Tools will be directed by Dato Yusri Abdul Halim, who directed our adaptation of She Was Pretty and starring Diane Trisha and Han Hakim. Next up is Alter Narrative. Now, this title is a special one because it came to us out of our new pitching forum. In 2021, we held our first VPF, uh, View Pitching Forum, inviting new creators to submit their ideas for a series. 
The goal was to discover the next generation of storytellers. Over 750 entries were received, out of which emerged a winner, a talented young lawyer turned writer named Aina Iza. Alter Narrative is her winning pitch, and we are proud to bring this high concept psychological thriller to view. And now, we would like to present to you the trailer for Alter Narrative, showing for the very first time here at View Upfront 2023. Let's roll VT, please. Gentlemen, we would now like to invite the director and principal cast of the show up on stage. Please put your hands together for our director, Faisal Isha. And our cast, Nabila Huda. Um, after watching that trailer, after the, you know, after the long days and nights with my cast and crew, I am so glad that they didn't opt to have their memory altered. <laughs> yeah, so I'm so looking forward to Alter Narrative 2023 with you guys. Yeah. So, thank you, Faisal. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause, please, to our director and cast. Yeah, thank you again firstly to View for having me yet again for another show. I think it's the third time uh, after Ganjil and then uh, Shwetuti. Uh, having said that, it's not just another show because I've been told that it's a, it's a tenfold show for View uh, next year, 23. So really happy and honoured to, to be part of this. Uh, kepada semua. I mean, the, the story itself is developed by View internally, led by uh, Encik Azhar. Uh, it's about a story of strangers yeah, who are caught in this world that they cannot get out of unless they play games by this nene. Some of which includes killing one another. 
So having said that, the shoot is pretty grim and then dark. Tapi this bunch of jokers uh, made it really easier lah because they they I, that dalam banyak cerita director usually bila semangat semangat setiap kawan tu usually buat cerita cerita happy kan. Tapi cerita dark tu they they were really there for each other. They were, uh, a really strong camaraderie between them. And then um, obviously we tak sabar untuk menantikan uh, di uh, keluar ni untuk garanti February. So see you all in 2023 February. Thank you, Dr. Yusri, and all of our cast. Great, great job, all right? So, once again, Nene Bongo Tiga, out in February. Don't forget to check it out. Uh, Yusri? <laughs> oh, okay. Cameron? <laughs> as well as Nene Bongko Tiga. Um, as someone who has dabbled in, in the entertainment and movie industry and is a consumer myself, I must commend the team from VIEW Malaysia especially for investing, for entrusting and believing the art, the work and the vision of all our local talents. So thank you so much for giving us a chance to showcase Malaysian artistry and providing the best Asian entertainment for our viewers, all right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, do stay tuned to Hilang's latest episodes. We've got episode three and four released today. And by the way, both directors, Gaz Abu Bakar as well as Said Kutsi, will be giving away 100 photo books of the director's gallery with their autographs. So be sure to uh, grab your photo book because it's on a first come, first serve basis. Uh, you can head down over to the View Town once this screening is over. Room siap lagi, eh? Still got a little bit more, okay? Man, 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 all right? And speaking of which, um, we also have, as mentioned by Stephen and Emilia, uh, we have five Malaysian View originals that we are truly looking forward to in 2023. Just a little recap, we have Nenek Bongko Tiga, we've got Alta Narrative, The Lanju Tinta, we've got Dear Karma, as well as W2 Worlds, which is a Korean adapted fantasy romance series, which I'm truly looking forward to. And when I saw the trailer, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait, I can't wait. And this sort of excitement that I felt or feel is exactly the same feeling that I felt when I found out that um, She Was Pretty was released early this year. And speaking of which, how many of you watched She Was Pretty? I've got tangan, can exercise kid? Yeah, all right. How many of you noticed the clever way in which the brand Sun Silk was written in the drama? I know, right? Social media was abuzz with compliments about the subtle product placement for Sun Silk. And as one netizen points out, this is a refreshing development, ensuring sponsors or clients ads aren't as cringe like that. Sebenarnya, I, 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 it was in Malay. I found it in one of the comments, right? Uh, but I'm just translating it for, you know, to make it more international, you know, more, more international. All right? So, there are creative ways to have a very savvy win-win solution for both content creators as well as our clients without turning viewers off. And on that note, I'm going to invite Ken, Head of Advice Advertising, View Malaysia, to explain further. Ken, over to you. Thank you, Debbie. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. My name is Ken, and I head up the Ad Sales Department in View Malaysia. Once again, thank you so much for taking your time to be with us here in View Upfront 2023. Earlier on, my colleagues have given you a preview of our content lineup for next year. Now, I'd like to take you guys through some exciting opportunities in this space and ultimately advertising in View. Based on the Savvy Marketeers 2023 guide for OTT advertising in Malaysia by the Trade Desk and Kanta, there is a strong and fast growing base of 5.5 million as supported OTT viewers in Malaysia. 
This audience consumes 243 million of ad-supported OTT in a month, with 10% growth in average monthly OTT consumption and 1 in 2 Malaysian viewers watching ad-supported content. That's almost every other person. And this shift is led by none other than the Millennials and Gen Zs, where 23% of the population in Southeast Asia are 16 to 34 years old, who are also natural heavy OTT users. 18% of Malaysian OTT users consume up to 6 to 8 hours of content per week, thanks to beach watching and video on demand. When we look at View Malaysia, this is what our audience looks like. On average, we have up to 3.9 million monthly active users, of which 59% are female. 79% of our users are in the age group of 18 to 34. Our users are also affluent, with 71% of them earning a monthly income of 3,000 and above. And interestingly, 80% of our users watch view on a mobile phone. I'd like to jump into a case study of a very successful brand sponsorship that we did this year with Sunsil. In June this year, we launched our Malaysian adaptation of the hit K-drama She Was Pretty. This was our flagship title for 2022 and went on to become one of our biggest hits to date. Sunsil came aboard as a sponsor for the show, which included product placement and integration as part of the package. The execution garnered a great amount of praise and attention, with one viral video calling it the best product placement seen in a Malay drama. This was a great success, not just for us, but for Sunsil as well. Here's a video content specifically catered to your brand's direction. We recently collaborated with Fonterra to come up with a cooking show that was inspired by the drama titles on view. With the idea of pairing food with drama, cheesy bersama session was born. We produced five short episodes of this cooking show, drawing inspiration from the storyline of each drama title, and then coming up with a dish that best represented that particular drama. Here's a short clip of the video, of the show. Tak tahu nak masak apa? Nak resipi yang senang? Mie abang belanja. Ha, jangan risau. Jom saya ajak. Saya akan masak resipi based on drama favourite saya. Drama She Was Pretty. Why her? Dan juga cheese. Kegemaran saya. Perfect Italiano. Cheese dear. Simple. Sedap. Mm, so good. Mm. Semua boleh buat. Inilah cheesy. Bersama Shazam. Wow, we're even feeling hungry just by seeing how cheesy they are. The final offering on our menu takes advantage of the latest technology to create cutting-edge digital brand integration in our content. We have partnered with Reef, a digital agency from Los Angeles, for this offering. Reef's proprietary technology allows brands to create digital brand integration within our content after the production is done. The final effect is realistic and seamless. No more clumsy DBI that looks like a cut and paste job anymore. Here's an example of what we did with Reef over in View Indonesia on one of our View Originals, Pretty Little Liars Season 2. Galak banget. Harusnya gue tau yang galak mau lagi utang. Masalahnya banyak yang takut buat nyerahin HP-nya ke gue. Tapi gue rasa, kalau mereka ngeliat gue ngeliat sama lo, mereka pasti mikir, I'm a good guy, right? Jangan lupa sekarang. Don't worry. This is really good guy. Aku yakin orang tua kamu pasti nggak apa-apa. Saya nggak minta nilai saya diganti kok. Saya cuma mau bawa bacaan lagi sesaya. Dia lagi di sini. Kamu sejalan sama dia? Ya nggak tahu sih. Ayah tuh sukanya sama cowok yang lebih tua. Kejahatan itu bisa dibentuk karena ada faktor lain. Ani bisa jawab? Ya, Ani. My time is coming to an end, but before I wrap up, here's a quick recap of the few key main points. Number one. OTT consumption is on the rise, with millennials and Gen Zs like ourselves leading the way. Number two, we've seen some of our best practices with actual results, so if you're keen to find out more, let's talk after this. 
And number three, leverage on the digital brand integration that is available in this era. My team and I are available to speak at the view town after this, where we will be more than happy to run through some of the offerings with you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ken. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you, thank you indeed. All right, so yes, if you are interested to find out a little bit more about what Ken and the team have to say, please feel free to see him and the team at the view town later on. All right, okay, we have one. One more Smart TV, Smart LED TV Prism Plus 85 inch to be given away. Ha, ah, said in one breath, huh? And, eh, ni? One, two, face, jump. And the lucky winner is... Jun, 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 Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Ilyas Zai! Di manakah anda? Ilyas, are you here? You sokong? Elias, calling once. Okay, okay, at the back. Alright, so our team will head over to where you are seated to get your full details. Alright, congratulations once again to Ilya Zain. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to hashtag us at View Upfront 2023, also tag us at View Malaysia because you too stand a chance to win a <clears throat> Smart LED TV Prism Plus 85 inch. Ah, gitu, okay? So stay tuned to our socials because you might be the lucky winner, all right? All right, so be sure to do that. We are almost, almost at the tail end of our View Upfront 2023, but we're gonna have the after party later on. But before we adjourn for that, I'd like to invite once again Kingsley, as well as all our other esteemed speakers back on stage to give his summary. Kingsley, back to you. Thanks, Stephanie. Well, what a show. So much content coming out. One that we're very proud of. I hope you've enjoyed tonight. Um, you know, this is a team collaboration effort, um, one that I'm very proud to be part of, but in, importantly, a team that's standing next to me and the, the VIEW team that are out here, they're very passionate about this. Um, they live and breathe this every day and they're here to support you as an industry and we thank them and we thank you for tonight, so thank you. A couple of more, I just wanted to thank um, uh, G-Bomb and his team from Migo Live Productions. Fantastic effort tonight, unreal. And a very, very special thank you to our head of marketing, Shahida Azaz, who put this together. Good on you, Shai. Everybody, come and see us at Viewtown. Thanks again. Cheers.